Okay, we're back doing a little garage cleaning. Pop is here. I have the test piece of 3 8 Let's see how thick it is. And this is supposedly able to cut off the 110. I got it plugged directly into the wall. And I think I'm only, I might have a 20 amp fuse. I'll have to put that in the, the deal. But I uh, got my air compressor filled up and plugged in. It's the blue hose you see. Um, keep in mind, I have not had any uh, experience with plasma cutters. This is my first one. And I have, let's see, 70, I got 70 PSI of air going through it. Um, I haven't read the instructions yet or anything, so just uh, it is what it is. I'm going to see here. I'm just going to try and do this test cut so we can put these pieces away. We're cleaning the garage. And I'm using these uh, Hobart glasses here. Um, they're not too bad. They were like 10, 12 bucks, something like that. See if this cuts. I'm gonna go up to max. All right. <laughs> so it be I mean it cut through it just kind of welded itself back on there um, it did a lot better than I was thinking it was going to do maybe I'll get my little uh Pop the breaker. <laughs> but that actually cut through all the way. You can see. Man, you can see the red under there. <laughs> Just reach back there and get it. Oh, yeah. Alligator arm. Oh, here, this side. No, not that one. <laughs> I don't know which one's which. Yeah, well, it's the one that popped. Turn the radio back. We had the radio going. There it goes. Just second one from the right. Second Remember one from the right. The future. <laughs> so it did, in fact, cut through the 3 8 off 110. The $200 plasma cutter. And I think I honestly only have like a 15 amp breaker in there. I can't. There's no way to actually video it. I'm gonna be able to see. Where are they? So, as soon as I stop this video, I'll be able to look and see what it was. But it cuts 200 bucks. I haven't used it for any length of time, so I don't know how long it's gonna hold up, but all in all, can't go wrong with that little thing. It's the 
reboot. And these glasses actually worked really well. I don't have anything to compare them to because I've never done this stuff before, but my welding helmet was too dark. These I could see good and they were dark enough. My eyes aren't, I don't see any glare or nothing. So anyway, so far so good.